really. Okay, I'll start over. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna start over again. I'm 20 years old. I go to a liberal arts school for acting. I am a sophomore currently. And I fucking love my body. My journey really started with how was I going to appreciate my own body, and I love painting. So I thought maybe if I tried painting my body, I would learn things about myself that I really appreciated that I didn't necessarily beforehand. And so a lot of the work wasn't in actually painting. It was more in exploration. Like I, I want to address basically that the idea that the female figure is unique in all different sorts of ways and, and that we don't take time to appreciate the other aspects of a female figure other than its physical form. And we don't tend to recognize the how vast the different shapes and like the different forms that the female figure takes up. And there's just something so beautiful and romantic about the female body that it's incredible how awful the person who lives in their own body is is hateful to themselves. There's a lot of things that I took for granted that my body does for me and I've actually I, and, and things that I didn't even know I could do. So what I would do is spend a, a good amount of time like 20 minutes per se on just one aspect of my body. So maybe it might be my elbow or my shoulders or my hips and I would spend time in front of the mirror just like seeing every possible picture my hips could could make and the idea that I could I could make my body fit into the forms of society that think are sexy if I get the angle right and the lighting but I could only do that if my body could also go in the opposite way just as far so like I learned to appreciate that what we would consider ugly or fat or roles or like you need that skin to stretch that certain way and if I, if I could do that and look beautiful by society standards then my I have to have that much skin to do it in the first place so and we forget too about all the other things that your body does and your body literally keeping you alive as a college student like let's be real we like trash our bodies and we expect it to somehow also look amazing. You have to respect your bodies. I, I'm going off on so many tangents and I am so like good. hoping you can cut this into something. Oh, wow. <laughs> so basically I started out with myself as the only subject but I realized to get a further understanding of the female figure I was going to have to find others and um, so through me and my friends or people, volunteers who, who would want to help out, um, we would spend time on particularly a body part that maybe they had injured or maybe had um, in the past like hid or have, have been dealing with insecurities. If you were to um, mention to me like a certain body part, like you were mentioning your arms, um, the process is, is just going through and seeing what other avenues of your arms that you do appreciate because you might find things that you don't like about your arms and, and there's things you're not going to like about everything. But if we start somewhere with something that you do like, then we can grow upon and expand on, okay, well, if I really appreciate that my arms, um, you know, can carry weight. And then there's something about the fact that you have that mass that's there for you to like carry something. Then you can notice the strength in your arms and then you notice that there's more muscle in your arms and that's why you're so strong. And, and when there's more muscles in your arms and you can explore the, the musculature of your arms and, and see the shape of your muscles. We would spend time exploring uh, how the body moves. We would talk about like what we'd learn and like what we were noticing and based off of the pictures we'd pick those that best described our experience when we were exploring that part of the body and then I would just go ahead and try and recreate that through paintings. I just think bodies are incredible and it's something alongside of nature like the two things that I really connect with and the fact that like on a molecular level the the intricacy of the body and what it does and and just the the female figure 
and how the landscape of it is something comparable to, you know, like the Grand Canyon. It is just vast and unique and it, sh it, it like shows the weathering of life on the inside and out and like even scars tell stories and acne show like, you know, your body fighting against something. There's, there's always something going on in a body. We neglect to see it as another thing. It's your three things, mind, body, and spirit, you're, you know, and it's, it's a whole other person in itself. You are, you are not your body and your body is not you, but you guys together are something. We get more secrets than guys. Are you kidding me? We get the secrets of the world. They have no idea how periods work. Are you kidding me? With a female body and like why I think it's so cool is that it does stuff. Like it does. Think about it. The idea of a period and why it is such an unbearable process for so many people is your body literally on its own prepares for life. It is always living and dying and creating and just des and destroying like your body is so connected to what nature is and like in like the secrets of the world there's also something so beautiful about the sensuality of a female we just communicate better <laughs> Is that too harsh to say? We just are really good communicators. All emotions, rage. I've never met a male who has matched a female's rage before. And you guys all know what I'm talking about. You know how scary it is. Women have untapped potential for taking over anything they want. Women are cool. The issues that I'm trying to tackle with in these projects is not necessarily um, even per se society telling you is that it's on your own journey through telling yourself because um, society you can't change society in any form or fashion to fit your life you know you're gonna have to figure out how to like it yourself you know your body has experienced so much with you and and like the partnership between you and your body when you know, your body is tired, but your mind is strong. You know, you can muscle through some things or vice versa. When you are not there or present, um, your body is there to pick you up and, and keep you living, honestly. My project is for me and for anyone else who'd like to join in the pursuit of growing a higher self-esteem. I know it's never going to be a straight line or easy or it's going to take time, or you're going to go in circles, but the ongoing failing forward of growing some self-esteem and becoming very content and completely content with the body I've been given and using it to its fullest potential as a tool in its strength and beauty and balance that it brings. I believe this project is important for women because I see it in every avenue of any kind of communication online, between each other, between females on females, between yourself and your body, between society and you. You have constant negative or derogatory or misguiding statements about what your body should be and what it is and how it works and what it's useful for. And just to have another voice that's rooting for you. I mean, you want to be on your own team, like you, I would just, it's nice every now and again to look at your body and, and see it in the morning and, and not be like upset. A positive voice in such a sea of negative. I feel really happy today, especially um, being surrounded by a lot of people who also appreciate bodies. Um, we just had like a little paint party beforehand coming here, so I'm just like thinking about all of that now. But I wasn't always... In fact, I was very self-deprecating. I dealt with a lot of, um, actually early on, sexual assault too. Because I actually started masturbating when I was three years old. Fun fact, I, I remember masturbating at such a young age. I was just stumbling a, across a porn channel. Me and my brother were watching TV and he just flipped to it and it wasn't censored or anything. So, And then, you know, growing up to my first boyfriend, it was a very abusive relationship. Um, and... I've learned a lot 
I think in that one relationship. I feel like it's really hard to talk about um, or like bring it forward or just even now too I'm getting a little worked up about it. But I think every single time I bring it up another person has another story. No, it's just so common is what hurts, you know? And how embarrassed we are at something so common. I mean, it's an epidemic, honestly. And how many people are hurting. But it's so secondhand. It is so behind the scenes. It is so intricately woven in the fabric of society today. But we are embarrassed to come forward and tell other people. We are embarrassed that it happened to us, even though it's so common. Is that why you're doing your project? I mean, it for sure has helped me in a lot of ways regain back my ownership and pride and true joy and appreciation and love for my body. Um, I mean, it's not easy to like look at yourself and and see the scars of, you know, past even traumatic events and see beauty and find love and appreciation for that. But the challenge is there and because it's there and through art, I find a, an avenue or a way of thinking or a journey into becoming more appreciative of it. And, and it's a, it's a tool, honestly. It's a it's a way we can further connect with others. Um, and I mean, as an actor, that's that's all I'm trying to do is connect and uh, do such such a awesome thing like a female body and an art. I mean, art goes beyond verbal words and. And, you know, it's, it's almost like it touches, it, it, it hits you, it, it does something to you, it, you know, art does. Yes. Thank you for <laughs> joining in on our discussion about the female body and about how awesome it is. And I hope today you can find something about yourself that you didn't know you liked. <laughs> <laughs> okay.